Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is part 6 of the crashed 69Z28 and I know some of you have been anxious to see some additional videos on this car but it's been a kind of a low, long slow process uh, because as you could see from the previous videos the car was pretty much totaled and uh, it's been a long road to get it to this point and there's going to be a number of different uh, clips jumping around here because I've been uh, recording the progress over a period of time. So uh, this first part of the video here is showing that both quarter panels had been removed. And Ovidio, who is the uh, metal fabricator expert here who's got 45 years experience in metalwork and bodywork. Uh, he is the sole technician on this restoration of this body and I'm focusing in on a lot of areas of the car uh, that he's working on because he is pretty much doing a precise uh, disassembly and preparation for the new panels that will be put on the car and uh, he has painstakingly been been going through and methodically going through each step of the process here and I'm just kind of focusing on some of the detail work that he's done and uh, the seam here is ready for the new quarter panel and this surface rust right here uh, on both sides, uh, eventually it was sandblasted and cleaned up and reprimered. And I don't have that, that process on video, but uh, I can show it to you uh, after the quarter panels have been installed. And you can see that they cleaned all that up. And here are the two quarter panels all ready to install at, at some point. And again, all of this uh, surface rust has been cleaned up. And you can see there, there's very little rust on the inner fenders that had to be repaired. But he did repair all of that. And uh, so I'm just going to let the video run here and let it speak for itself as, as the uh, different scenes progress. Again, there was a period of probably a month or two that that uh, I put all the different pieces of the video together, and I went over there to try to capture, you know, the, as he progressed on it. There's a little piece where he was. Uh, fitting some of the new pieces and so on. So at this point he had installed the uh, the right quarter panel to fit it and uh, again he removed it after this uh, to clean up underneath and so on but he basically did this to align it and to mark off where he had to make adjustments uh, as shown by the green um, pencil marks. And at, at this point, I'm going to let the natural audio go as we, as I help Ovidio install the left rear quarter panel. We're going to open it a little bit. We're going to end it with this okay. panel. So for that, you're going to have to go up and down a little bit. Okay. okay. So we're going to try. 
So after some adjustment and so on, uh, you can see here that the both quarter panels are installed. And again, he had removed both quarter panels and as I mentioned before, sandblasted the inner fenders and primed them. And then, as you can see here, he removed the entire front uh, firewall and dash and so on and then welded uh, some rods inside to line the body up. He took measurements uh, off the blue Z28 and then welded the rods in to uh, stabilize the body. And at this point, he's going to remove the floor pan and the rocker panel and install the new floor pan, rocker panel, uh, firewall, and upper and lower cowl and of course he'll he'll have to spot weld the quarters in first and so on but uh, I just kind of wanted to show you 
And then he left the right side tulip here that has the hidden VIN number in it. So that's going to be retained. And in a previous video, I had mentioned that he was going to save the lower cow where the cow tag is. But unfortunately, that's not possible. So we are going to install the new lower cow. And I'm going to have to remove the uh, cow tag off the old cow and replace it onto the new uh, lower cow. And I'll show you that here coming up here in a minute. But these quarters are all lined up now and ready to do the spot welding. So here are the new parts that will be installed. Uh, that's the new A-pillar and door jam. And then right there is the uh, inner and outer rocker panels. And here's the old dash and lower cowl that had to be removed and there's just no way to save this lower cowl unfortunately and uh, I think it's going to be pretty easy to remove this cowl tag I'll retain the rivets I will not remove the rivets from the tag itself but I think I can pull the tag off along with the rivets out of the holes and then reinstall them onto the new uh, part so the rivets won't be altered at all and here's the new lower cow here and you can see the holes there where the cow tag goes and then there's the new piece for the dash and then here is the uh, firewall This piece is pretty dirty, so that's what all of the dirt is on there. And then here is the uh, the finished product. Again, I didn't catch it on video, but uh, they did sandblast all that and then uh, treated it and primed it. And it looks really nice under there now with the new trunk pan and the repaired inner fenders. And again, the quarters are, are ready to spot weld in place. So the car is looking a lot better. It's you can tell that the the remainder of the car is very straight and everything seems to be lining up really well. And uh, he's pretty much got the door lined up here with a little bit of adjustment left. And then uh, here will be some close up of the uh, the rods and the jacks and everything that he has in place to stabilize the body. So once he spot welds these quarters in and the trunk pan and all of that, then he'll be able to install the firewall and rocker panel and all of that. So that's going to do it for this video, and I will have another video on this car pretty soon. And also, I'm going to be bringing the blue car here to my shop uh, next week, and I'll be working on that car here pretty soon, too, to get it back uh, together. So again, thank you so much for watching, and please like and subscribe, and uh, 
uh, share. It's important to me and it helps the channel. So thank you and we'll see you soon.